for the Jayhawk boss as they come in two and four, 0 oh and three in conference play. They've lost four in a row. Bourbon will receive the kickoff from Kentellick. Bourbon trying to turn the corner, turn it up. He is shy of the 20 yard line, brought down by Ty Zimmerman from Kansas State. And Kansas coming off a 45 17 loss to the University of Oklahoma in a game in which they trailed by 10 at the half, got shut down offensively in the second half. But they feel overall, this guy's getting better each week. Their quarterback, Jordan Webb, those are his numbers against the Sooners last weekend. Yeah, and in the second half, Bill, only one first down in six yards offense for the Jayhawks. I mean, Oklahoma just suffocated them offensively in the second half of that matchup. Yet overall, they're averaging 425 yards of offense per game. That's 41st in the country. Defense has been a huge problem for this team. And an opening run to start the game from Darian Miller, a freshman from Blue Springs, Missouri, who came in averaging 4.3 a carry. Here's a look at the big fellas up front. Jeremiah Hatch taken off the field last week against Oklahoma. The fact he's in the lineup tonight is huge this afternoon. James Sims, he is the man, has to get the running game established. Then they can do hard play action faking off of that. And that's the key. Well, the second and short coming up, needing one for the first down. And the handoff and that Kansas State defense rushing to Miller to make the stop. And leading the way, Adam Davis, a junior from Boston, Georgia. Aggressive. Get up the football field. Attack the line of scrimmage. You know, you can blitz to stop the run as well. And the run through by Arthur Brown. Very, very active. But nice job up front by Adam Davis. Wildcat defense giving up just 345 yards per game. That is fourth in the Big 12. And their rush defense is second in the league, 16th nationally at 96.8 huge improvement over a year ago third and three now Webb looking to throw got a man complete for a first down out to the 40 yard line that is Kale Pitt the junior from Dodge City Kansas nice job Pitt ran an outstanding route look at the protection first of all we're seeing what the quarterback sees. He has a nice little throwing lane, and he sees that his receiver, Pitt, got beyond the linebackers, in front of the defensive backs, settled in the hole. Pick his 14th reception, picks up 14 yards. Beery, the tight end in motion, sets left. Miller, in a stutter step, and then forges ahead across the 40 to the 41, and now the Kansas State defense vastly improved. Yeah, Latui, the junior college uh, transfer, is a big stud in the middle. Arthur Brown is as good as there is in the country. Very, very instinctive and active. And in the secondary, Nadja Blown, four interceptions, most in the conference, tied for six most in the country. And he has an interception last week against Texas Tech for a touchdown. Yeah, stunned the Red Raiders early. They end up coming from behind to win that game. A pitch and catch to pick. And he's got another first down as he crosses into Kansas. To state territory, Alan Chapman makes the tackle that time for the Wildcats. Chuck Long doing a good job schematically, get the ball out of the quarterback's hand quickly, run the quick little pivot route, and Pick runs it perfectly. Remember, Pick was a quarterback. He sees the game as a receiver through the quarterback's eyes. Yeah, Pick last year started off the season as the number one man at quarterback, then moving out to the wideout position. He threw for 193 yards last year and had just three receptions. Here is Sims, and he is upended about the 47-yard line of Kansas State, where David Garrett, well, you love this guy making the tackle. I love him for sure. This guy has got a nose for the football. And really, last year, he played kind of a hybrid safety linebacker position. Now Bill Snyder's put him at cornerback. you got to get your best 11 defensive players on the football field. That young man is versatile with a capital V. Snyder, by the way, 15 and four against Kansas and won 14 of the last 15 strolling the sidelines against the Jayhawks. Handoff here by Webb, not much doing that time as Brown again makes the tackle. And our Coors Light game plan, let's take a look for the Jayhawks here. Well, the first thing is ball security. They didn't give it up at all against Oklahoma. They have to do that again. Kansas State is plus six. They're minus four in the turnover ratio. They want to outrush the, wild, uh, the, uh, outrush the Wildcats. Only one yard differential in the running games this season. 
and they want to be third and medium or less, and they want to put the Wildcats third and long. Third and six. Watch out, Webb. He's brought down. A loss on the play at the 49-yard line as Meshack Williams. They like to rotate him into the defensive end position. Another one of the junior college guys out of Hutchinson, Kansas. Nice job done that time by Williams. And this is too much. Third and long. And hold the football. That's a coverage sack. They plaster the receivers down the football field. Eventually, the protection breaks down. And Williams, Meshack Abednego, gets the uh, sack. Big one. Brings on Ron Doherty, the punter, sophomore from Klein, Texas, averaging 43.6 a kick. Punted 11 times against Oklahoma last week. And this one is caught and taken back and stuffed at the 15-yard line for Kansas State. The Wildcats, after a six-yard return and a 43-yard punt, Heaney was the return man. Good tackle there by Heaney in space. Brought him right to the turf. Outstanding effort. Colin Klein takes the field for the very first time today, completing almost 59% of his passes, seven touchdown passes, only three interceptions. But that's the running game is the key. The leading rusher, third leading rusher at the quarterback position in the country, and he's rushed for 10 scores. And the fourth leading rusher in the Big 12, period, 739 yards coming in. 570, I should say, and on the first down, on the ground, and Hubert is going to get a lot of action carrying the football today. Here's a look at the O-line. Well, the big senior, Clyde Offner, seems like he's played 100 games at Kansas State. He is the anchor of the offensive line. Hubert has rushed for over 100 yards a couple of times, averages over 90 yards a game on the ground himself to complement the quarterback, Klein. Klein averages 4.2 per carry, 578 yards rushing, 739 passing. Second and seven. Why? Stop at the 16-yard line as Bakari makes the tackle. Junior out of Woodbridge, Virginia. One thing Kansas State wanted to do is to get off to a good start on the road. And down in uh, in Lubbock last week, they only got 94 yards offense in the first half. Got off to a very slow start. Did not want to do it in the rivalry game on the road again today. So Jayhawks. Defensively try to stiff it here as the Wildcats face with a third and six from their own 17-yard line. Clyde got hit as he threw it, and it's incomplete. Intended for Tremaine Thompson. A little pressure that time from Tobin O'Pora. The key for the Jayhawk defense is going to be make the Wildcats throw it because they have to, not because they want to. They got them in a down and distance situation where Kansas State had to throw the football. That is not the strength of their offense. Look at the splits on this punt team for Kansas State. Massive splits. Ryan Doerr to punt it out of Katy, Texas. DJ Bashir is one of the top all-purpose guys in the country to return for the Jayhawks. And it's taken at the 42. And across to the 47 is Bashir's junior from Denton, Texas gives Kansas excellent field position after a 40-yard punt and a four-yard return. Zip, zip, early going in Lawrence. The game's most refreshing beer. And by Sprint, all football, no limits, only from Sprint. Nothing being held back here on a beautiful day for football in Lawrence. Kansas Jayhawks hosting the Kansas State Wildcats, the Cats at 6-0, number 11 in the BCS ranking, throttled on their first possession as Klein and company will adjust. Meanwhile, Jordan Webb and the Jayhawks' second possession with excellent field position, but it's going in reverse. Coming on is Williams with the sack and takes him down at the 37-yard line of Kansas. Boy, Williams is getting it done, working against Spikes. Just a, got, got an off, off balance, out of position, took the inside move. Spikes has to take that inside number away from Williams. Outstanding effort. Williams gets his second sack of the day, his sixth of the season. Came in with 13 tackles on the year, already having a huge impact. Pearson in the backfield now is the running back 
Kansas will shuttle him in. A little bubble screen, and he got a little room. Bumps it across the 40 and gets to the 42, it looks like. Ty Zimmerman from Junction City, Kansas, a sophomore with the tackle. Our Coors like game plan here for Bill Snyder's Cats. Well, control the clock. Time of possession, 35 minutes, 33 seconds a game. Leads the Big 12 second in the country. Want to avoid three and outs. They want to play smart last week against Tech. 10 penalty, 78 yards. Can't do that in a, in a rivalry game. Be special. Emily talked about it. 100-yard kickoff return. They blocked a couple of field goals. Ball start on the offense. Number 86, five-yard penalty. Third down. You can't go to sleep on fourth down against Kansas State. They will clean your clock. The Wildcats last week beat Texas Tech in Lubbock 41-34. Klein ran for 110, passed for 146, and ran for three scores, passed for one. The Jayhawks. You see their situation in third down against Oklahoma. Well, and now they're third and 20. You know, this is not where you want to be third and 21. You don't want to be down in distance in this situation. It's a tough, tough conversion against this salty Wildcat defense. Webb's thrown for 1,238 yards coming in. Got time here going deep, double covered, and throws it away intended for the Shears. DJ, well blanketed down there. Zimmerman lending a hand. Hartman also there. There's Turner Gill. So all his club go three and nine last year. Just one Big 12 victory, but it was a doozy where they came from 45-13 down against Colorado to win 52-45. Back to back three and outs. The Wildcats went three and out, and the Jayhawks get great field position. They go three and out. Doherty will punt it away. He stands in his own 22. Tyler Lockett is the deep man, the lone one for Kansas oh. State. And off to the side, bounces at the 29, and goes out of bounds. That will stop the clock. 36-yard kick that time for the Jayhawks. Doherty still no score here in Lawrence. The best thing. Washington right there at five and one overall. Here it's Kansas State unbeaten, and the Wildcats six and zero, oh, three and zero oh in the Big 12. Meanwhile, the Jayhawks looking for their first conference win. No score early going, 7.40 to play first quarter. Hubert lines up for the Wildcats as a tailback. Klein delivers a pass, and does he? Across the 50, complete to Lockett. Lockett, a freshman out of Tulsa. You might remember that name. Of course, his dad, Kevin, a terrific receiver, and 24 yards on that pickup for Tyler Lockett. Well, it's just a deal you run right down to hash mark. I mean, there's a cavity right there, recognized immediately at the snap of the football by Klein. He had one read, and it was to Lockett, and they gashed it. Lockett's dad and his uncle, Aaron, both great K-State receivers. So first and 10 in Jayhawk territory for Kansas State. Klein, quick hitter to the outside as Harper makes the grab out of bounds at the 39 of Kansas. Harper, the junior out of Wichita, Kansas, Northwest High School, their leading receiver coming in with 21 grabs for 251 yards. The last two first downs, Kansas has thrown the football. The last two first downs, Kansas State has thrown the football. So much for the ground and pound. Both of these teams are deciding to open it up, throw the football to help set up their run instead of vice versa. As you know, that's where certainly Kansas State's coming back to. Fly hands it off here. Good defensive play as Hubert is stuffed at the 40-yard line. And let's take a look at that Kansas defense. Off the, on the, on the uh, defensive line, Tobit of Forum is the, is the pressure guy, the pass uh, rush guy. Steven Johnson averaging over 10 and a half tackles a game. He's a tackling machine. Isaiah Barfield gets the nod in the secondary. Very athletic guy. Looking for him to make a play or two back there. Kansas defense need to get some turnovers. They've been allowing 565 yards of total offense. That is last in the nation. And if you're not going to be able to stop them, you've got to get some picks and some fumble recoveries. This one is complete again to Harper as Harper is stopped inside the 30. They'll mark it near the 28-yard line. The, the, uh, the Jayhawk defense is faced the second rank, the fourth rank, the sixth rank, the ninth rank offenses. I mean, it has been unbelievable. Every single team that Kansas has played under Turner Gill here this season was undefeated at the start of the football game. This is game seven. 
Every single opponent came into this game against the Jayhawks unbeaten. Amazing. First and ten. Klein, play action. Got a man, and it is complete once again to Chris Harper. Time for an Academy Sports and Outdoors game break with Kevin Frazier and Marcus Allen. How about that? Another rivalry game. It's rivalry day today. How about Klein? 4-4 four four for 67 yards in the air on this drive. And he's got him set up for a first and goal to go as the Wildcats. They'll milk that clock. This is where he's so dangerous because he can run it. Quarterback run game's big here. Shows the football. And look at that Kansas defense. Read that play. Stop at near the seven. Steven Johnson. With the, with the help from a host of others, boy, there were five people around that play. Look at the, the difference between these two football teams. Kansas State has got a 17% advantage scoring in the red zone, almost a 20% advantage on third down. Points off, tur off turnovers are plus four in the point department. I mean, they're just very, very opportunistic and sound are the Wildcats. Second and goal from the seven. Klein barking it out. Klein right up the middle. Touchdown, Kansas State. Colin Klein gets his 11th touchdown of the year on the ground. And whenever you're in this type of formation, it is a two-back set. It's a two-back set, and he has a lead blocker, the other back. Make the ball to him, he leads through. And Klein is a big physical guy, 6'5", 226. The further you get him away from the center and the big lineman, he's bigger than everybody else. He's about the same size as a lot of the linebackers, a lot bigger than the defensive backs. They're going to have a hard time getting that big man on the ground. Can tell you for the point after he's 20 of 21 this year. And this kick is up and good. As the junior from Wichita, Kansas makes it 7 0. How about Klein? Nice job. Absolutely fit on the run fake. Colin Klein gives Kansas State the 7 0 lead as after leading him down the field with passing, he takes it in himself. Watch, he's going to fake to Hubert. Watch what that does to Richard Johnson. And then once Richard Johnson bites on Hubert, okay, Pitts, get your block, double, rub to the linebacker, lane, touchdown. Easy. Touch football, he scores. That's big time. You have a two back set back there when you have two runners, the capabilities of Hubert and Klein. Klein, 6'5, 226. He could take a hit, too. The Shears on the return. 20, 25, watch out. The Shears, the 40. The Shears turn it on. 30 and out of bounds. Inside the 20 yard line, a flag is thrown way back on the 24 of Kansas State. Now, let's see if there's some sort of an illegal block there. Would that be a huge penalty nullifying all that field position? But man, you talk about a, a hustle play. David Garrett, the starting cornerback. During the return, block in the back, receiving team number 41. 10 yard penalty. First down. Wow, that's that's. That's that's a 50 yard penalty. You talk about uh, flipping field position. There's the illegal block right there. The block in the back and he didn't even have to do it. It's no. unfortunate. He didn't know he didn't have to do it. But that not only 10 yards. I mean it's a 50 yard penalty or more. You're flipping more than yeah, that was a 72 position. yard oh. return. And I think I said the Kansas State 25. No that was the Kansas 25 of course. So now you push it all the way back to the 11 yard line for Turner Gill's Jayhawks and what a hole and that can be a huge momentum shift particularly coming after K-State looked pretty impressive scoring. Well I mean they score a touchdown you you give your offense a short field oh no you don't because of a special teams penalty now it's a long football field circle that penalty that penalty is going to be a, you talk about hidden yards Kansas the Jayhawks just lost about 65 yards of field position on that return and Bill Snyder who was all the way down at the line of scrimmage and looks like he's saying something like he's saying something about somebody blew a whistle he was signaling he, he gestured to his mouth about a whistle was blown or something Scott Novak the official there who was meeting with him and I mean, the respect for Bill Snyder goes without saying that as long as he's been around, what he's, and no one is better at details than this man. And I'm not sure, if, like you say, maybe he thought there was a, an early whistle or whatever, but 
He wanted that football pushed back further than the 11. I think that's evident. But that's where Kansas will operate. Out of the Wildcat this time as the direct snap. And that goes to Sims, the running back. You'll see a lot of this from Kansas and offensive coordinator Chuck Long today. Our first and ten line is brought to you by Mazda. Yeah, there's there's multiple people that can wildcat. Sims can do it. Miller can do it. And Christian Matthews does it. A wide receiver. He was a quarterback in high school. They may throw it a little bit out of the wildcat. Now Webb returns. Pearson is the running back behind Jordan Webb. Webb, a sophomore from Union, Missouri. 3:30 and counting here, first quarter. And the handoff to Pearson. Pearson dances across the 20 to the 21. Ray Kibble makes the tackle. Double flags. Yeah. A little late action here. Because he was in first down territory. Pearson averaging seven and a half yards a carry. Explosive. You got to keep your composure and your poise. After the runner got a first down, personal foul, unnecessary roughness on the offense, number 86. Half the distance to the goal. First down. That's the senior captain tight end Tim Beery. He's been in a few of these and you have to keep your poise right here lines him up and takes the late shot and uh, the umpire throws the flag and the back judge threw a flag so multiple people had the same opinion. Turner Gills. It will be first and ten. First and ten after the enforcement. Turner Gills football team is playing hard. They're not playing smart football right now. A, a penalty nullifying a massive kickoff return, and then a penalty nullifying a first down run. They average six penalties, 41 yards per game. As Dave mentioned, that's certainly a potential killer. Goes back after distance to the goal and upended his Miller that time as Emmanuel Lemur making the tackle. Lemur, a senior out of West Palm Beach, Florida, 27 tackles on the year coming in. Boy, this Kansas State defense is so aggressive. I mean, their run support is spectacular. Defeating the block of A.J. Stewart in the slot and just coming up and forcing the run with <laughs> definite emphasis. And now, the line of scrimmage is the seven. So it's second and 13. And the handoff not going anywhere as once again, Miller is stuffed this time. At shy of the five yard line. Well, Kansas is self destructing with penalty. Kansas State is turning up the volume defensively. They are getting off blocks and attacking the line of scrimmage with vigor. Going to have to sustain some blocks up front. Right now, the body language of the Jayhawks is slumped shoulders. The Wildcats is puffed out chest. And Davis with the big defensive play. Now, Webb. Going to take it a yard deep in the end zone on this third and 15 snap. Almost deflected, well, almost intercepted, I should say, almost as Davis again got that hand on it, and that would have been a touchdown. Adam Davis says, I'm not on scholarship to be a receiver, but I wish I caught that one. <laughs> Man, if he caught that, it was golden goalposts. It would have been one of those unscripted scores that uh, Emily talked about in the, in the open. They've got two pick six touchdowns. Almost came up with a short one for number three. Doherty seeing how much room do I have. The sophomore backed up in the end zone. Tyler Lockett, the deep man for Kansas State. Lockett at the 42. Looking for an opening, going sideways, 35. And now out of bounds, but still outstanding field position for Kansas State as Colin Klein will come back on. And how impressive was he on that last drive? Well, he set the run up with the pass. He doesn't have the pure mechanics throwing the football a little unorthodox, but he's accurate. Came into the game completing almost 60%, and he was four for four in this drive. Got him in touchdown range, and then he finished it. He said, all right, I threw it to a certain point, but I got to run for my 11th touchdown of the season. Look at these guys' numbers on the season. The previous two games, he's rushed for six touchdowns. I'll tell you what, he's a very, very complete player, and he's a peak performer so far today. No doubt. 37-yard punt, eight-yard return. Kansas State, excellent field position on the first to 10. And a pinball action for John Hubert as he was knocked around. 
and stopped at the 33 yard line. Augustino, Keba Augustino, sophomore out of Katy, Texas, makes the, ta the tackle. And Wildcats, who scored on the last possession, great opportunity here where it'll be a second down now and eight. Schubert lines up along with Klein. Sorry, but because of penalties, they, Kansas State has great field position. Kansas should have had the ball by the red zone now scoring if that hadn't made the mistake on the kickoff. Pitch and catch once again, and it is complete. Out on the wing to Lockett. Lockett has the first down. He is tackled at the 22-yard line of Kansas. Send it down now to Emily Jones. Well, you guys talk about Colin Klein, and when you talk to Bill Snyder about him, the first thing he wants to talk about is what kind of a person he is. Uh, great character, which is not unlike uh, a Bill Snyder coached player, as you guys well know. But then he talks about his toughness and the fact that he's kind of a mild-mannered guy, but he's really earned his stripes with his team and showing his toughness, both in that Miami game and, of course, the Texas Tech game last week. Thanks, Emily. Nice pass here, and Lockett makes a little something out of it once again as he runs down to the 14-yard line, knocked out of bounds by Lubbock Smith, a junior from Dallas Carter High School. Yeah, sometimes a guy with his demeanor like Emily's talking about has to push himself, you know, to get out of character a little bit to motivate his football team. But he leads by example as well because nobody takes bigger hits than he does during the course of the football game, and he just keeps jumping up and says, give me more. Junior from Loveland, Colorado, started just two games last year, played in 10, so he is still evolving in his game, but the, no one questions his toughness. Second and two, and Klein will take care of that. Inside the 10 and rolls down to the six yard line, and that will end the first quarter with the Wildcats on the attack and owning the lead. Nice block that time by Wilson to set up that run. That's it of the first quarter, 7 0 Kansas State. You're watching Big 12 College Football Saturday, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. We'll check out some stats presented by Bank of America that first quarter. Kansas State 107 yards to 31 for Kansas and you see that little check there KU minus 17 in the last two drives is all the momentum for the Wildcats Dave. Yeah penalties have been killer for Kansas they have self-destructed their 31 yards on 16 plays less than two yards per play. I'm not talking about two yards per rush. They've run the ball 11 times and only have four yards net rushing on those 11 carries. Kansas State's defense has played as advertised so far. You see it as Klein sees it, surveying the situation here. He scored their only touchdown, his 11th of the year, as Bill Snyder, his amazing Wildcats, 6 and 0. Oh. And Dave was talking about how Kansas had been facing some juggernauts with Oklahoma and Oklahoma State recently. Those two are coming up next for Kansas State. They'll have the Sooners next week in Manhattan, trying to go 7 and 0 oh to get there. So we start the second quarter with a first and goal from the six yard lock. Klein Ooh. hands it off. No, he faked me out and takes it right into the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats. They tackled Hubert. He didn't have the ball. And Klein gets his second TD. That's the second time that Hubert has sacrificed himself for Klein's touchdown. The first time, big down lineman tackled him, Richard Johnson. This time, Tobin Aporum takes him to the ground. Klein says, no, 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 this is zone read. I got the football, a little press digitation, and that's his 12th rushing touchdown of the season, his second today. Yeah, it's tackled the man with the ball. That's how we used to play in the backyard. And now, the kick is good by Cantelli, and the Wildcats. First play of second quarter, now lead it, 14 zip. On his first pass, he's hit his next six. Then he's taken over running the football in for both scores. Now we're set to kick it off here as Cantelli will boot it off the Shears and Bourbon, the two deep players in the end zone. Cantelli chips it a little short, and Bashir scoops it up and bounces off a player, takes it across the 30 near the 33 yard line. And Academy Sports and Outdoors Game Break. Here's Kevin Frazier with Marcus Allen. Missouri. 
man, we need the black. Unbelievable combo right there. And is that state of Oklahoma buzz where Look. those two teams rank third and fourth in the BCS rankings in a potential showdown coming up December 3rd. Meanwhile, Alabama LSU looking to November 5th, the top two teams. Here's a run by Bourbon. He is stopped at the 33-yard line. Slight gain on the play. 14-36 and counting here, second quarter. And Kansas needs to, they've been able to move the football some. They're going to have to get some points on the board and slow down this Kansas State bunch a bit. The misdirection hurt Kansas State's defense in the first drive. They've adjusted quickly. Misdirection nowhere since. And you see that opening drive had some success. Now Webb comes out throwing here. Pick the receiver. Good solid tackle. No surprise for Kansas State at the 38-yard line by Ty Zimmerman. He came, comes in with 28 tackles. Got to stay on schedule. The key is be third and four or less and make Kansas State be third and seven or more. Gail Pick makes the third and makeable situation for the Jayhawks. Pick. Nice worker and really going here today. Sets up third and four for Kansas. Beery again in motion, sets to the right now. Webb, incomplete. Read very well that time, intended for Beery. I think that was Walker out there. Yeah, he came, he came right underneath. Trey Walker undercut the route and makes a good play on the football. Makes it fourth and four. Watch him undercut the route. Good read, good break on the football. No go. So Doherty will kick it away. He stands at his own 25. It's a fourth and four. Tyler Lockett, the deep man again for Kansas State. High kick by Doherty. Lockett will return from the 12. The 20. And out of bounds at the 23-yard line. Steve Johnson on the tackle, 11-yard return after a 49-yard kick. K-State up two touchdowns. And by Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Here at Memorial Stadium on the campus of the University of Kansas, it's the Wildcats in control, up 14-0, 13-26 to go second quarter. John Hubert lines up behind Colin Klein, who has scored both Wildcat touchdowns, and it's a first and 10. You see the yards per play, wow, what a difference. And the handoff to Hubert, Kansas stops him here at the 24-yard line. Hubert coming in, averaging 5.2 per carry, 545 yards on the ground, eighth in the Big 12. Our first and 10 line is brought to you by Mazda. And Bill Snyder, ever the contrarian thinker, that's why I call him the professor, has decided to throw it more so to open things up in this football game. And Klein, very successful. First was incomplete and hit six in a row. Here he is here. Good protection. And he'll run it. Shows you some wheels. The 35, the 40, the 50. And into Kansas territory. Out of bounds at the 45-yard line of the Jayhawks. McDougal there to shadow him, but he picks up 31 yards. And down the football field, Chris Harper, number three. Watch him down. The lane opens up. Outrun, speed factor for Klein. Down the football field, look at Harper work, work, work. Gets his block down the football field, giving Klein more room. Outstanding in, in Klein. When he sees the Red Sea part like it did right there, he's gonna tuck it and go. Klein's had three 100-yard-plus rushing games so far this season. And beat Baylor, he ran for 113 and a touchdown and threw for 146 and two scores. Going deep here, got a man, Harper, and a flag is thrown. McDougal and Harper get tangled up, and the flag is thrown. Well, the ball's underthrown. Klein throws, uh, throws his worst pass of the day. Harper reacts to the football. He finds it. McDougal That's doesn't. On a defense number 24, 15-yard penalty. First down. As Harper makes an adjustment back to the football to make a contest to catch, McDougal just contacts him early. He collides with Harper before the ball arrives. Look, he goes up, 
runs through him before the ball's there. Easy call. He knocked him backwards a yard before the football's arrival. McDougal just did not time it properly. Underthrown football. If Klein puts the ball out there, Harper walks into the end zone. Underthrown ball gave McDougal time to recover, but he's there too early. And there you see another huge Kansas penalty. And it sets it up first to 10 at the 30. The Wildcat again. And running it is Peace. Angelo Peace, the junior from Cairo, Georgia, getting his first carry of the day. Well, Kansas State and what they've done with Bill Snyder is absolutely amazing. Our Geico quote, he has gone heavy with the junior college transfers and talked to us a lot about that. The rest of the team must accept them into the family for us to be successful, and there's no question that they do, Dave. No doubt about it. I mean, they're all players in Bill Snyder's eyes, and if you have problems, there's no, you know, segregation of junior college players as opposed to scholarship players out of high school. It's all one big family, and they all contribute to the cause. Second down and six. Klein, short pass to Harper. Can't wiggle loose this time. As tackled up top, that time by Anthony Davis. You see there's still 12 scholarships under the limit. Two deep roster with four transfers, two walk-ons, eight junior college transfers. But it's equal opportunity, scholarship or not. Best players play. And, and he's the reason right there at Bill Snyder because it's all about his discipline and principles. And he's teaching life lessons, not just football lessons. These kids come in and they crave discipline. He provides it for them. Third and three now for the Wildcats. They lead it 14 to nothing. Klein. Finds his way down near the 16 yard line. Another first down for Kansas State. What you do is you have a quarterback pull that backside lineman. Outnumber him. Fullback, kick him out. Come on around, guard. Pitts, get your block. Hey, you know what? You're a running back, but you can block too. You might as well get a good one, Hubert. That's just outstanding execution. That's Kansas State at its best. Out leverage you, get one more helmet at the point of attack than you have defender. Everybody get their helmet on somebody and finish the block. First and 10. Ball at the 16. Kansas State threatened to score again. Klein going left. The pitch here to Hubert. The 15, the 10, breaks the tackle and down to the six yard line, nearly the five. And an outstanding block by Braden Wilson, junior fullback. He had an outstanding block on the power run by the quarterback, Klein. Watch 37, sort through, get the cut. Take his legs out from under him. Very fine effort on the perimeter. Bill Snyder hammers you with the power play inside and then stretches you out horizontally, running the options to the wide side of the field. He's got you coming and going between the rock and the hard place. First and goal from the five, and Klein hands this one off, and right up the gut, it is John Hubert. Hubert gets his second touchdown of the season, his first of the day, and Kansas State leads it 20 to nothing. Hubert's one of those guys that's hard to find behind the offensive line. 5'7", 185 pounds. Doesn't give you a whole lot of hitting surface. Runs with a good body lean. Touchdown. He's not hit until he's to the goal line. Kansas State's offensive line starting to impose their will. Ken Telly tries to stay perfect on the day and make it a 21-0 game. Good snap. Kick is up and good. And Kansas State. Breaks out to a 21-0 lead. After the break, we'll join Kevin Frazier and Marcus Allen in the Coors Light Studio. Thanks very much, Kevin. Right here, great day for Kansas State. KU, a little shell-shocked right now as the Jayhawks, who've been throttled pretty good recently, and now their rival Wildcats putting it on them, 175 to 37 in yardage here. And we got 9.31 to go in the half. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit fragile right now mentally, and Kansas State has gotten off to such a good start. Kansas, uh, the Jayhawks are feeling a little shell shock. Bourbon on the return to the 20, 30. Bourbon sheds a tackler and moves it out to the 37-yard line, and that's where Kansas will get control. A 23-yard return for Brandon Bourbon, a redshirt freshman from Potosi, Missouri. I did uh, the game last year, the Kansas-Kansas State game, which Kansas State won 56-7. to So you would think there'd be a little blood in the eye, a little revenge factor. 21-0 so far in the last 
uh, five and a half uh, quarters of football. Kansas State has outscored Kansas 77 to seven. They've outscored them by 10 touchdowns. Jayhawks have to get on track here and make this competitive. So let's see what the Jayhawks can come up with if they have an answer here to slow this Wildcat momentum. It's first and 10. Speaking of the Wildcat, they do the direct snap here. And it is Sims who carries it to the 30, or across the 40 to the 43. And here's what's Kansas State, as far as stuffing the run. Take a look at what's happened this season. So much improved over a year ago when opponents were rushing for 231 yards a game against them. And not only that, you can see the number of yards less that they're holding them to. Um, the fact is, they gave up 5.9 yards a carry last year. This year, it's 3.2. That is massive. Up the middle. And Miller with the tackle. And it still comes down to, even in a pass-happy league like this, you got to be able to stop the run. Oh, yeah. Kansas State has proven that, even though they haven't won their games by wide margin, they initially stop the run. They get people out of what they want to do. Well, it, it, if you can make a team one-dimensional, some teams choose to be one-dimensional on their own. But if a team, if you can make a team have to throw the football, you get a leg up. Huge wins for the Wildcats at Miami, a goal line stand, the Baylor game where they came back and won. There's a little pitching catch for KU to get something going outside on the wing and still moving the football. That's Shepard. Shepard inside the 37 down to the 36 yard line for Jacory Shepard, a freshman from Mesquite, Texas, his first reception of the day, 12th of the year. Watch AJ Stewart get the block. Good job, AJ Stewart. Good job down the field by Pick. And this guy is explosive. They want to get the football in his hands, averaging over 20 and a half yards per reception. He's got touchdown, three touchdown passes of 48 yards or more, 48, 56, and 68. He can go. So, first and 10, and running with the football, that is Pearson, who pushed back forward. Progress stopped at the 30-yard line. Zimmerman with the tackle that time. How about the Jayhawks schedule? You see nothing in the right-hand column, but zeros. Everybody they played has come in unbeaten. Now a little hurry up, and again to Shepard. Gets to the 24. That'll move the chains. You know, that's one thing in September, Dave, but we're approaching Halloween. Yeah. And you see the teams that come in here. And what was it? Chuck Long, the offensive coordinator, said to us, hey, the hits just keep coming. No question. But Everybody that comes in hasn't, hasn't suffered a defeat on the season. Good job of getting the ball in Bashir's hands, too. He's an all-purpose king. Fourth in the in the in college football at over 186 yards a game, all-purpose yards. First and ten, Miller lines up here. He gets the carry. A nice hole, and Miller scoots to the 14-yard line. David Garrett, the tackle for the Wildcats. Nice job up front by Jeremiah Hatch and Dwayne Slatnick. Getting a little crease in the middle of the defense. Now a little tempo change here as they go under center. Hand off to Miller from Webb. And Miller went down at the 12, I believe, where Kibble makes the tackle. Ray Kibble, a senior out of Houston for Kansas State. Good job by Chuck Long. You have to do something to change things up. Get to the line of scrimmage maybe a little bit sooner. Late substitution here for the Jayhawks. Pearson again lines up, and now they shuffle over as Beery moves to the right side. The same for Stewart, number 11. He's got pick over there as well. Goes that way. Webb on the keeper. That didn't fool anybody, particularly Adam Davis, who's had a big first half as he makes the stop for KSU. Anytime a quarterback runs a zone read, the Kansas State Wildcat defense, we see this every day in practice. Colin Klein does this every single snap. So, it's not a big shocker for Kansas State's defense to handle that type of action, and nobody does it any better than Colin Klein. Here's what the quarterback sees timeout. the big boys Kansas. up front. So a timeout called here by the Kansas Jayhawks as we're down to 5.58 to go in the first half. They are desperately trying to get back into this one, training 21-0. We'll be right back. No question. God bless each and every one of you for your sacrifice. Kansas trying to get on the board as Webb has them all spread out here with the empty backfield. 
and a third down and eight. Jordan Webb, the look in and pick is stopped at the five. Shy of the first down, I believe. Well, you got a wide receiver on a linebacker. Although it's a very talented linebacker, that's a matchup you like. Little pivot route, wide receiver on linebacker. He separates. Big play. Kansas this year is 7 of 12 in fourth down conversions. It is fourth down and one. And they'll take another timeout here as Turner Gill realizing this is a critical part of the game as the Jayhawks trying to get seven to get on the board. Takes it for the first down as Trey Walker makes the tackle. But James Sims, the leading rusher for Kansas and 11th in the end, the uh, Big 12 will set up a first and goal now at the two. Nice job up the middle. Marangeli, Hatch, and Zlatnik push the line of scrimmage big time. Jordan Webb. And again, Sims just pulls his way in. And the Jayhawks are on the board as James Sims with a touchdown, his seventh rushing touchdown of the season. And Chuck Long says, I'm going to repeat it. You guys delivered for me on fourth down. Here, let me run it again. See if you can deliver for me for a touchdown. Same play. Hammered up inside. Watch the big boys. Push at the line of scrimmage. Easy touchdown. Nice job. Way to come off the line of scrimmage and establish yourself. Victor McBride will hold for Alex Mueller, the freshman kicker from Grapevine, Texas. Mueller knocks it through, and Mueller now 26 of 27 on the season. And the Jayhawks with Sims with a touchdown. Make a 21-7 game. Let's send it down to Emily Jones. Well, you guys, Kansas showing some signs of life here late in the second quarter. And you talked about the strength of the Jayhawks schedule thus far. Every team they've played, as you've mentioned, has come into the game undefeated. You would think that maybe things would lighten up a little bit the rest of the way, but that is not the case. Three of the next five Jayhawk opponents are ranked in the top 25 or receiving votes as of right now. So no rest for the weary. However, this is a young team. You've got to think that the stripes they're earning this year will pay dividends in the years to come, gentlemen. Thanks, Emily. And yeah, there's your Big 12 this year that has undergone a lot of turmoil, but the fact of the matter is everybody plays everybody in this league, so there's an additional conference game, and this league is a tough, tough conference this year. There's no doubt. I mean, the Big 12 is one of the premier football conferences in the country, and it proves itself year in and year out. Top to bottom, hard to beat this season. So the kickoff, Mueller's kick was taken by Lockett, the 20, Lockett, 30, sideline, stays in play across the 40. A flag is thrown at the 37-yard line. If it stands, it's a 32-yard return by Tyler Lockett. They got Leighton Dowling for During holding. During the return, holding, State. receiving team number 90. Yep. 10 yard penalty, first down. For Kansas State, Bill Snyder not happy about the penalties last week. That's been a pretty good situation for him so far this week. Here's what's coming up on the Sprint Halftime Show as Kevin and Marcus in the studio. Top 25 scores and highlights. And we mentioned Oklahoma State playing University of Missouri down the road. They'll have more on that as well as top 10 Oregon at Colorado preview from the Rocky Mountains. Alan Klein, there's his work today. Two rushing touchdowns, seven carries, 60 yards, and seven of eight through the air for 89. Extremely efficient. First and 10. Incomplete. Let's send it back to Kevin Frazier, Academy Sports and Outdoors game break. Houston Nutt would like a victory anytime, but particularly against Arkansas. No question. Particularly what's happened to Ole Miss this season. Right here, 451 to go, second quarter. Kansas State with a two-touchdown lead. Klein across the middle, deflected. Intended for the tight end Tannehill, but Tobin Oporum. Oporum, former running back, and he came in leading this team in tackles for loss with seven and a half. Nice pass coverage that time. Seven and a half tackles for loss, two sacks, a couple quarterback hurries. This time he shows that he can drop into coverage and, and defend a pass. 
showing his athleticism and versatility. And the Kansas crowd becoming a factor maybe for the first time today. They've been very quiet, particularly in the nature of this rivalry. And Clyde on a third and ten. Escapes the pressure. Harper. Oh, Can he get the first mask. down? Oh, there's a flag. Face mask. As Harper was tackled near the first down, and then the face mask is going to be called. I think that's Malcolm Walker. Personal foul. Face mask on a defense number 44. 15 yard penalty. First down. Unfortunate, but I'll tell you, they rush three and drop eight. And so Klein just tries to extend it a little bit and Walker trying to make he just grabs the grill and, and twists the head. I mean a little exorcist action there. You can't grab it and pull it. Man, this this is you, you got to let it go. That That's potential neck injury right there. I mean that's a personal foul. Uh, that's why the face mask penalty is in. You can't grab the face mask or headgear and twist the head like that. So again Kansas gaining some momentum penalty boom gone. Crowd sits down. Kansas State first and ten. Move the ball. Hubert lines up here in the backfield with Klein. First and ten from the 48-yard line of the Wildcats. There's multiple ways to self-destruct. Turnovers one. Penalty is another. Today, Kansas is going the penalty route. Now, timeout, timeout. Wildcats. Kansas State first charge of the first half. 30-second timeout. Keep it right here. The 11th ranked Kansas State Wildcats in the BCS rankings that have come out and surprising a lot of folks, but if you follow Bill Snyder, you shouldn't be because this club at 6 and 0. And let's take a look at those BCS standings and provided by the U.S. Postal Service. Uh, LSU and Auburn later, Alabama, Tennessee, Oklahoma and Texas Tech tonight, Oklahoma State with Missouri, OSU up by 11. And 10 unbeatens remain, Dave. Tell you what. I know it's still early in the long haul, but it could get very messy. Yeah, it, it, no question about it. And like we said in the open, how many of you people out there had Kansas State amongst the 10 unbeaten at this stage of the season? If you did, you are a smart human being. <laughs> yeah, you're also lying if you just <laughs> raised your hand. <laughs> First to 10 at the 48-yard line. Fine pitches here, Hubert. He's got a cut back to the 40. Breaking tackles along the way, and Hubert is down to the 32-yard line. McDougal makes the tackle, and a 20-yard gain for John Hubert. You can see the Kansas State execution and confidence swelling on every snap. I mean, this football team is so fundamentally sound. It's all about Paul Brown, my first head coach, and a legendary guy in the football world. Whoever blocks and tackles wins football games. It's, it's all about that. And right now, Kansas State uh, Kansas State is doing a better job of each. Hubert had 166 yards against Miami and continues to just grow. Last year, played sparingly, had a 30 yards rushing on the season, 19 against Kansas in that K-State win. Oh, oh wide Kansas open was Tannehill. And Klein upset that he missed him. We'll send it down to Emily Jones. Well, guys, we really can't talk enough about the job that the 72-year-old Bill Snyder is doing in his second stint as the head coach at Kansas State. And I thought it was funny, Dave, when you asked him on the conference call, you know, hey, coach, what, what are you doing? They're buying everything you're selling. And he said, I'm not selling anything. It's all for free. And it was funny and reading some of the comments from his players in articles that have been done uh, over the last couple of weeks. Fullback Braden Wilson said, quote, in the end, he's always right. <laughs> yeah, what was That's they the mentioned? Line. Sometimes this message is a bit monotonous, but we get it. <laughs> and they are showing that they get it here. Hubert on the pitch is stopped shy of the 30-yard line. Richard Johnson making the tackle. And Bill Snyder, the miracle man of Manhattan. You see the first go-round and then three-time national coach of the year, the 11 straight bowls, and just absolutely incredible. And then he replaces Ron Prince and 6-6. Six and six. Last year, they go to that pinstripe bowl back in New York. And now this year, the 6-0 and oh start. Uh, coaching's all about teaching. Bill Snyder has his doctorate in teaching. He is a phenomenal teacher. Third down and nine for the Wildcats. Klein got plenty of time. And a man, it is... 
Yes. Complete, yes. yes, complete to Tremaine Thompson. Had to see if he was able to hang on. They ruled it complete at the two-yard line. 5'7", 165 pounds, and he stretched out for every inch of that 5'7". Klein led him to the middle of the football field. Let it, let him. He catches it, brings it back up to his body, and rolls underneath the football with his body. The, the ball, oh, does the tip of the ball hit the ground? They may take another look. Does the tip of the ball hit the ground? He's averaging over 16 yards a catch. Going to snap this one quickly. 27 yards on that pickup. First and goal. And Klein trying to push it in. Still moving. And he scores. Touchdown Wildcats, Colin Klein. Colin Klein is a dual threat today. Beating him with his throwing arm and beating him with his legs. Just like those last two plays. Those last two plays are a synopsis of his performance today. Watch the offensive line and watch Wilson. Okay, it's a scrum. Everybody keep pushing because Klein's going to keep working. Don't quit until the whistle blows. Klein, his third straight game with three rushing touchdowns. Can Telly on for the PAT? It is good. And Klein now with 13 rushing touchdowns on the season. And Kansas State, talk about an answer. KU scores. K-State quickly, 28-7. He's accounted for at least three touchdowns in the last six games now by throwing or rushing. This is his third touchdown rushing. And credit the offensive line. They just kept pushing. Kansas couldn't separate from any blocks. And it was just like a big old scrum at the end of the line of scrimmage. And Klein scores. A lot of push-ups going on today. Well, in a Wildcat, going to get a workout if this continues, as it was 7-0 after the first quarter, and four touchdowns scored here in the second quarter. The first two by Klein and Hubert of the Cats, then Sims on a two-yard run for the Jayhawks, and quickly, the Wildcats come right back to put a seven spot on the board, and now lead a 28-7. What they're talking about there, Thompson and Klein, I think Klein felt like Thompson was going to run his route more toward the middle of the field where he threw it. Thompson eventually got there, but had, had to make a diving catch to save the play. Kick off to the Shears from the five. 20. And he is stopped there. Where Kansas will take over with 2.04 remaining in this first. So, noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Check the local listings for games in your area. Here's Bucks in London. That's a pretty good match. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing with Aaron Rodgers and that bunch. Kale Pick, the receiver here as KU. A little more of a hurry up, trying to see if they can't get one more on the board before intermission. And it'll be a second down and two after an eight yard pickup on Webb's pass. Throws again and complete again to Beery, the tight end. Senior from Omaha, their leading receiver coming in with 21 receptions. He gets 13 yards on that pickup. Clock at 143, stops for the first down. He did a good job in the offseason reshaping his body. Lost some weight, runs better routes, better blocker. Wanted to really have an outstanding senior season. He's off to a good start. Now already surpassed last year's 19 reception year. He did have four TDs a year ago. Just one so far this season. Webb. And incomplete at the 46-yard line. That'll stop the clock with 136 remaining. Intended for Beery. Second and 10 now for Kansas. Jayhawks at 2-4, and four, coming in 0-3 in, in the Big 12. Trying to pull off the upset of 11th rated Kansas State. Webb delivers here. Short of the first down to midfield. Pick again the receiver. Clock still moving now. 125. And Kansas member has one timeout remaining. The Shears goes wide right along with Shepard is in the slot. Two receivers to the left. And the pass out of the backfield to Sims. And Sims... Stops the clock, got the first down at the 46-yard line. Lemura made the tackle for the Wildcats. Kansas' offense has moved the football against everybody. Their problem has been in the red zone some and getting enough opportunities and possessions for the most part. Yeah, they're averaging nearly 32 points a game, seventh in the Big 12. 
in the quick out and the deliver to the Shears. DJ came in with 20 receptions for 293 yards, their leading receiver yardage wise. And now the Jayhawks have got it as we approach the one minute mark, second and one. Webb's arm strength is not an issue. Chuck Long told us last year that Webb has the strongest arm that he's coached. And remember, he was at Oklahoma with some pretty good quarterbacks. So he's done a much better job of studying the game and learning his options and then reacting on game day. And this one is complete to Stewart. Stewart moves the chain, stops the clock as they'll reset the football, and he's at the 34-yard line. Sometimes when a kid is blessed with a powerful howitzer throwing arm, thinks that he doesn't have to study as much. This one complete to Beery. Nice. This pitch and catch has been perfection moving it down the field. And that will move the chains, and just like that, with 50 seconds to go, the Jayhawks have it first and 10 at the 21 of the Wildcats. You might want to do this for the entire second half because Kansas State has had to be very basic in their defense. They've gone basic coverages, basic fronts, and uh, it's been really almost like seven on seven. McCall on that resume. Yeah, he's a, just a very, very classy human being as well. There's a situation, and a flag is thrown here as Webb is coming out. I think it's going to be against Kansas with the illegal procedure. False start on the offense. Number 20, five-yard penalty, first down. It's Bashirs. Well, it's almost like by design. Kansas yeah. approaches the red zone. Yeah. It's like, uh-oh, right? Yeah. Yeah, here it is again. I mean, you, you, you move down the field. And you're methodical about it, and you get close to the scoring zone, and you self destruct. So it's first down still, but 15 for the first down. Jordan Webb, they come after him, steps up into the pocket, going for the end zone. Oh. Almost an incredible catch as Beery trying to do the balancing act, and he was well covered. It was a heck of a throw. I'll tell you, the reason the throw was able to be made at all, watch watch the blitz pickup right here. Sims on Brown. Whew. Nice job. That's some serious sticking right there. That's two good football players like Brahma Bulls going at each other. Beery almost fingertips on it. Full extension. Can he bring it down to his, to his body? On top of his head, almost the Tyree type deal in the Super Bowl. <laughs> David Tyree catch off the helmet, could not quite secure it. Second down and 15, 43 seconds remaining in the half. Webb, the Shears, he forges ahead. The Shears still short of the first down. They'll hurry up. They got one timeout remaining. Malone and Lemur are making the play. I think K-State thought the Shears was going to go out of yeah. bounds. Yeah, and I, honestly, so did I. Yeah. I thought he, and then, and then he save time and reload for another snap. Third down. Across the middle, the Shears, he'll score! Touchdown, Kansas! Once again, they got the matchup they wanted. Wide receiver on linebacker. Arthur Brown is a very athletic young man, but Cale Pick isolated him out of the slot, and this time Bashirs isolated Arthur Brown out of the slot, and they got him for the touchdown. Watch number four in the white jersey. Trying to stay with Bashirs. Little pivot route, separate, see ya. The Shears with the TD, a 13-yard pass from Webb. The kick is up and good by Mueller, and Kansas pulls back within a pair of touchdowns. 28-14, Bill Snyder, you can tell, not happy. But give KU some credit. They were superb on this drive. Watch. Watch what happens. Bashirs is going to be picked up on the route. Arthur Brown tries to undercut him, takes a bad angle. Bashirs cuts right over his, in front of his face. And he catches the pass in the middle of the football field and turns those shoulders uh, pads north and south and scores. Good design, good execution. Tough for a linebacker to undercut that route from that far away because Bashirs is a make you miss guy in space. He made everybody miss. So 14 seconds remain. So Kansas, you can't do it much better. You leave the opponent 14 ticks on the clock. You take it into the end zone. And now, you say that, be careful because Lockett, who's returned one for a touchdown before, I'd not it. today, but this season, let's see if they do the squibber here as yeah. Lockett is deep along with Tremaine Thompson. Yep. That's the plan. 
and it's taken at the 27 yard line across the 40 and that was Dowling. Dowling had the big holding penalty on the Kansas State kickoff return and he, he, he gets he gets a chance to, to show what kind of ability do I have. Cover it up. Oh! Oh, he got <laughs> smoked. You want to run it? Guess wow. what? You're going to get hit. <laughs> Dowling saying, yeah, I like it. Let me let me do that one more time. All right, Kansas State has one timeout left, Dave. They do have the ball at the 43-yard line. Time for what? A medium pass and a, and a chance for a long field goal attempt, possibly? Sure. I mean, you've, you've, got, you've got time. But if I'm Kansas, I'm playing prevent even a little bit deeper. I get these guys deeper. I don't let anybody get behind me. Here's Colin Klein. Got him oh at one. Oh, mama. Look it. Makes one miss. And he's brought down at the nine. One second. The clock will stop with the first down. And Kansas State is going to get that field goal opportunity and almost a chip shot. Amazing. A broken coverage. Turner Gill can't believe it. Like I was saying, you can't let anybody get deeper than you. And they let him just run right down the middle of the football field behind everybody. I would I would have played it uh, everybody deeper and certainly not let him just run right by like that. I mean, look at this. Just runs right down the middle of the football field. You can't let him get behind you. I mean, it, it, it's almost incomprehensible. I mean, everybody in the stadium knew the situation. Wow. Now, Cantelli comes on for the field goal, and line of scrimmage is the nine, so he'll set up at the 16-yard line. Door is the holder for a 26-yard field goal attempt. Cantelli's kick is up, and it is good. He is now 9 of 13 as Cantelli converts on the three-pointer. Now you talk about going into the locker room. You could have had all kinds of momentum. Now you go in with less momentum because of that broken coverage. Emily standing by with Bill Snyder. Thank you very much, Coach Snyder. You wanted to start out fast in this game, and you have. Well, we did, but we slowed down a little bit and gave up some points that we don't need to be given up. Seems like you're controlling the line of scrimmage, averaging seven yards a carry. Well, I, I don't know what the numbers are, but I think our offensive line has played reasonably well. Yes. Okay. Coach, thanks Thank for the time. Bill. We appreciate it. Best of luck in the second half, gentlemen. We'll send it off to the Coors Light Studio. What a half. 31-14, Kansas State over Kansas. Marcus Allen, Kevin Frazier, it's coming your direction.